here we are. Beautiful. I'll update your communicator one more time. A little program I cooked up just for this purpose. There we go. I think that worked. Try it out. The dawn of the deadly 18th century. Rogues and sailors band together to live their lives by the sword. With no laws or morals, no gods and no fear. Only betrayal, mutiny, cruelty, and debauchery. There is plunder to be found on golden beaches. Will you risk life and soul to fight the pirates of nightmares? Benjamin Hornigold, Calico Jack, Charles Bain, and Blackbeard? Charges, sir, I'll hear them again. My lord, His Majesty's court contends that the defendants 
Mary Reed and Anne Bonney did piratically, feloniously, and in an hostile manner attack, engage, and take seven certain fishing boats. Secondly, this court contends that the defendants lurked upon the high seas and did set upon, shoot at, and take to certain merchant sloops, thus putting the captains and their crews in corporeal fear of their lives. Edward James Kenway, born of motley parentage in Swansea, to an English father and Welsh mother, married at 18 to Miss Caroline Scott, now estranged. She's a beautiful woman, I am told, but not at all well these days. If you touch her, you bastard, I'll... Quite a surprise finding you here rotting in a Jamaican prison. We heard rumors that you had taken up with the pirate Roberts. If you know the observatory's location, tell us now, and you'll be out of here in a flash. Rogers can hold these British hounds at bay for a time, but this will be your fate if you fail to cooperate. You, Mary Reed and Anne Bonny, are to go from hence to the place from whence you came, and from thence to the place of execution, where you shall be severally hanged by the neck, till you are severally dead, dead, dead! Oh, Ross! May God in his infinite mercy be merciful to each of your souls! We're pregnant! Do you all hear that? What the devil did she say? They plead their bellies, my lord. Aye, you can't hang a woman quick with child, can ye? Quiet! Quiet! If what you claim is true, then your executions will be stayed, but only until your terms are up. Then I'll be up the duff the next time you come knocking. Remove them! What's your name? Philip, Ken Moore, Conway. It's Walpole, ain't it? Walpole? Where'd you get that? Well, that's the rumor going round. As dirty and daft a pirate as ever sailed these West Indies. Well, whatever his name, gotta make sure he suffers without dying. Ordered from the governor. And back to the prisons at sundown. And massage his feet if he's aching, shall I? Ah! Oi! You stop that! Oi! Quiet, you! Oi! Quiet! Hey! Oi! Open stop this that! Gibbet. Good morning, Captain Kenway. I have a gift for you. Do not mistake my purpose here. I have come for Anne and Mary, and you owe me nothing for this. But if you would lend me your aid, I can promise you safe passage from this place. I'll need weapons. You are comfortable with this, I am told. We must hurry. Hold you. 